G'day aspiring engineers. In this video we're going to modify the SOLIDWORKS files that we brought in from GrabCAD and imported into Fusion 360. Let's get on with it. Okay, this is the Geneva mechanism we downloaded from GrabCAD in the SOLIDWORKS format last time. If you have the personal use version of Fusion 360, you're not going to be able to import this SOLIDWORKS file format, but I've put a link in the description below where you can download this same file in Fusion 360 format. Next time, we're going to make another video, another tutorial using this file, which we also downloaded from GrabCAD last week. This one is a STEP file. So the first thing we need to do is activate the uh, capture the design history. And that way we get the icons along the bottom here and that'll really help. So we're going to be modifying the drive wheel. And so what I want to do is activate that component and isolate it. So right click on the component and go down to isolate and left click on that option. Hides the rest of the model. Click in the window somewhere to take off the grey. Now let's extrude something on the top here and what I'm going to do is start a sketch. The first thing we might do is click on the sketch tool and click on the top face up here and notice now that we have the we have all of the sketching tools available to us as you became familiar when you were doing the 16 basic tutorials. I hope you did those. If you haven't I recommend that you start there. The link is in the description. So I'm going to use the circle and uh, just put a, a circle there and it needs to be using the dimension tool 12 millimeters that's enough for the sketch um, you, did you notice that I placed the circle on the point of origin of the document which is right in the center it's concentric to these main features of the part so I'll click finish the sketch hit the E key and we've opened up the extrude tool Notice that we're back in the features environment. First thing we did was create a sketch. Now we're back to making features. We hit the extrude tool, which is this one here next to the sketch tool. It wants to know what is the profile that we're going to extrude. So I'll click on the little circle that we just created, 20. The only other thing that I should do there is right click and edit feature. Just to show you that I should have just made sure that we had the join operation available there. The other options are cut, intersect and so on. So we're just looking for a join because this is going to be one body. And by the way, um, if you would like to see the, the drawing of this part that I'm modifying, then you can see the hand crank that I want to make here. I'm just going to flash that on the screen for you to take a screenshot if you'd like to, or refer back to it by scrubbing in the video. All right, now let's make the crank. What I'm going to do is look at the bottom of the part like this and start another sketch. This time I'm going to start the sketch on the top of the pin that we just created. And now the sketch tools are available to us again. So I'm going to use the line tool. Now, 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 the now, now that you mentioned in the comments, getting a curve to come out of here, it's all about putting the mouse right on the X that you see on the end of the line there and dragging out and you get that curve. But uh, some of you had a lot of trouble with that, so what I'm going to do is just show you how to use the, the circle tool. And I just need to put a circle there, somewhere there, no particular size, in the wrong spot. And we're going to use the constraints to drive it into shape. So we'll do another circle over here. Click on tangent. Then first on the circle, then on the line. I can move the end of the line out. A tangent constraint between the line and the other circle. Drag the point out there. I want this circle to be concentric with the, the center of the part. So I'm going to use the concentric tool. I want the uh, the two circles to be equal. So I'll click on the equal tool, I'll click on one circle and then the other. We need one more line between the circles. Uh, we need to make sure that we have a tangent relationship between the circle and the line we just drew. I'm going to use the trim tool to cut out some of these extra lines. Make sure that the distance between the point of origin and the point of origin of the other curve is 85 millimeters. Now I want to have a line going from the center of this circle of the, the whole part. So I'll select the line and hit the construction icon. 
Then I want to make it so that the line runs through the center of the part. Lastly, we need to put a dimension on the end curve here, and that has a radius of 10. That sketch is now complete. Hit the E key for extrude. There's the profile. I also wanted to extrude that little part of the profile that's over the top of the pin. It's a join, not a new body. And the distance that we want to go is 8 millimeters. Next we want to have another little pin coming up here and uh, there'll be a knob above that. So another sketch. I hit the C key to get the circle tool and I'll put it here intentionally off center. Hit the D key to get the the right size. It's a diameter of 10. Then I want to have it uh, concentric with the curve of that feature. Click once on each after clicking the concentric tool. Finish the sketch. E for extrude. And we want this one to come up 25 millimeters and it's a join. Now I didn't actually include any examples of the the revolve extrude when we were doing the 16 basic tutorials so this may be the first time you've seen it. Um, as always we want to have a sketch on a plane and in this case the plane is going to be vertical and so on the construct menu we can find a mid plane option and click on one side of the feature the other side in order to get a plane right through the center of it. Can you see that mid plane that was just created? I'll click OK for that. There's one other piece of reference geometry that we're going to need and that is an axis through the last feature that we made. Let's find an axis through a cylinder and there it is. That'll do fine. Now when we click on the sketch button we can select that plane and now we're drawing directly on that plane. When I've used the circle tool I can place the origin of the circle on the end of the pin on the axis. Hit the D key for the dimension tool and the size of this one is according to the drawing it has a radius of 11 and so it's a diameter of 22. Now because this is a revolved feature we only need half of the sketch so I'm going to get a tracking point from the center of the circle and cut the circle in half with a line use the trim tool to get rid of the lines that we don't need then we can finish the sketch and hit the revolve extrude tool it knows what the profile is it was uh, already selected and so it's asking for the axis there's the axis of the revolution it gives a little bit of a preview there we're not wanting to do a cut, we're wanting to do a join, and we click OK. So a part's complete, and that will do for this video. I'll see you in the next one.